Hi friends, it's Miss Stephanie and today I'm going to show you how to make taste safe soil for this month's garden and horticulture theme. So to do this taste safe dirt, you are going to need coffee, flour, cornstarch, and water. You're also going to want measuring cups and a bowl and a spoon to mix with. So to begin, you are going to take half a cup of flour and put it into your bowl. And then you want to add half a cup of cornstarch as well. You can make more, um, you just want to make sure that you have equal parts of flour and cornstarch. Then the next thing you're going to do is you are slowly going to add water. You're probably going to add around a cup. You just want to make sure that your mixture is not too goopy or too liquidy. So I'm going to pour about half of this in. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit to see where we're at, and then I can add some more. Still need a little bit more, my mixture's still pretty thick. <clears throat> that should do. After adding your water and getting your consistency where you want it, you are going to take some coffee and you are going to add one to two cups of coffee grounds into your mixture. You want the consistency of this after adding the coffee to be stiff enough that you can make little balls with it kind of like soil, if you think about buying soil. <clears throat> so I'm start with one cup and then I can add more if I need it. This also gives it the <clears throat> brown color that you're looking for. Go ahead and add another half cup for the time being. So at this point, my spoon is getting really goopy. And so I'm just going to reach in and mix it with my hand.
So if you can see this very well, I've gotten to the point where it's kind of still thick, definitely thick, but you can also break it off and make little balls out of it, and that's exactly what you want to do. So I ended up adding about one and three-fourths cups of coffee grounds to mine. Yours may come out differently, so you just kind of have to experiment a little bit. So I'm going to break this up, and then I'm going to show you a really fun way for your little ones to use this soil. Okay, now that you have your soil broken down into smaller pieces like that, you can see it's enough to fill a pie tin. You are going to take some baby carrots and you can break them in half, which I've already done to a few of mine, and you can stick them into your soil. And then your little gardener is able to pick carrots. So I hope you all really enjoyed this activity. I'm sure your little ones will. I will see you again soon. Bye.